flexo plate cutter comes with a white plastic cutting mat. Um, you can also use a card mat. This is a uh, picture framers mount board, works extremely well. And there's also the traditional self healing cutting mats, although don't use the self healing cutting mats with the bevel blade cutter, it, it will damage it. The machine comes with a number of different blades. Uh, for the process I'm going to show you here, I'm using a, a single edge blade. Um, this is the Tech S015. Uh, S means single edged in that it's flat on one face and it's ground, sharp edges ground on the other. Um, be a little careful. Um, the blades are marked up to cut on one, one corner which is intended for use in the bevel blade holder. When using it in the 5 degree offset blade holder it needs to be turned around to use the opposite corner. So when loading it, load it so that it's in the holder, you can see the writing, push the blade right back up to the stop, into the blade holder and hold in place, lock in place. Now the test is that when you view the tip of the blade from the side you should always see the ground edge. Whether it's in this side or in this side, if using a single edge blade you must see the ground edge of the blade then everything will work properly. One of the important things is um, to make sure that you don't cut so deep that you're going to do damage to the surface of the cutting mat. Um, either if you want to cut through in one go, set your blade depth on the adjustment screw at the back of the blade holder. Um, adjust that such that the tip of the blade is only just going through the material that you're cutting. Or use very light strokes. I prefer to use light strokes and I also find it's beneficial to put some tape onto the edge of the cutting mat. Just hold that down to stop it moving and do a number of cuts down the same line. Then once you feel it's, you need to move the plate out, the cutting mat over um, a small distance and, 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 and recut. When loading the flexo plate, do so with the smooth backing side downwards. And the process that works well for most plates is to do it as a, a two-step process. First of all, make sure that you cut most of the waste off first of all. So if you want to cut down a line, move the plate to the left so that you're cutting five to six millimeters or quarter of an inch um, to the right of that line and then cut most of the waste off. Very light, two or three strokes, continuous cuts until you see it come away. So then move the plate over your five or six millimeters and realign with your targets or whatever marks you have um, in your flexo plate. The sight line strip, which is a clear plastic strip that's fixed to the right hand edge of the cutter bar, gives you an exact location of where the blade is going to cut. Again, light strokes. and you'll find that it will cut exactly on the sight line strip with a five degree undercut so that when you turn your plate around to cut the other side, follow the same process. Take most of the waste off, move up to your proper position. And then when you mount onto the roller, you should have no gaps.